Civil engineer for me is a very exciting career route. Um, and what gets me out of bed in the morning is the passion to be able to deliver for my clients, for the people that I work with, um, being able to problem solve, being able to work collaboratively with other disciplines. The different types of civil engineering um, before I started in, in, in the industry. When people think about civil engineers, most people think about bridge builders or, or people who build bridges, but there's so many aspects of civil engineering which I didn't realize until I came into the industry because um, I started my career as a setting out surveying sort of civil engineer um, and have progressed into section engineering and, and, and various other parts of civil engineering but I, I didn't realize that it was there were so many different aspects of civil engineering um, and it's important to specialize in one because you can't possibly do them all. Being a Londoner, I think the one that would probably inspire me to have worked on would probably be something like the BT Tower, um, built in the 60s. But I think just its sheer impact to London in terms of our ability to communicate um, through radio waves and telephones. And I guess because my, my, my mother worked for BT, so I guess there's uh, a bit of affiliation there. And I think that I would love to have worked on something like that and been instrumental in actually providing communication across the capital in a very efficient way. I would like to bust the myth that you have to be exceptionally brilliant at maths. Uh, to be a civil engineer. I think that you have to have a lot of tenacity in being able to problem solve and being able to work with people um, and put a lot of hard work in. And most things you can learn and you can um, adapt to be taught or trained or mentored to be able to be the best you can be.